תהיה סחי בו סייף, שם יש מזכר הרבנים האלה. רביל אוול מוברק. May these days be blessed, inshallah. Although, when we look at it, this world is not getting blessed. Every day is getting worse, isn't it? Every day, more hardship, more disasters, more cruelty, more greediness, more oppression piling up every single day. We are doing this to ourselves. All the oppression and torture, all the poverty and all the disasters, we did this to ourselves. We cannot even blame nature these days because we have upset nature. We have made nature very upset. So it's coming back to us. What goes around comes around. We cannot blame nature, we cannot blame Allah because we have done this to ourselves. So where is the blessing now coming and where is it going to? And a believer, a believer is what? Is someone who is part of a body. I'm saying what? Holy Prophet said, the believer is like a whole body. If one part of the body hurts, the whole body hurts. Where are the believers these days? Where is the hurt these days? And our whole body, the whole ummah is sick and is tortured and is dying, isn't it? So who is hurt by all this? And who is in pain? And who is running to fix it? The medicine is not going to come from ourselves. The cure is not going to come from ourselves. We must know that. It is going to come from above. But at least we must know how we're sick and why we're sick. Just as when you go to a doctor, the good doctor is not going to expect you to find your own medicine, to do your own research and to find your own medicine. No. But you're going to a doctor to know to find out if you are sick or not. And the good doctor is going to sell, tell you, you are sick. And a better doctor is going to say, this is how you get sick. And this is how you're going to cure yourself. I'm going to give you medicine. But your whole lifestyle now has to change, isn't it? Now the whole body of the ummah is sick and it is dying. Where are our doctors? I'm not talking about statesmen and politicians that are all corrupt. I'm not talking about those ones. I'm talking about those ones who are claiming to be doctors of the heart. Those alims and the ulamas, where are they? Those sheikhs and the imams, where are they? And what are they speaking about? What are they being busy with? At least, they're going to say, this is how you get sick. You are sick. Wake up. You are sick. The sick person even if you give them the best um, food, it's no use to them. You give them the best clothes, it's no use to them. Nothing is useful to them, nothing. You say, no, you must memorize Quran. It's good, but you're sick. You say, I'm going to give you everything that the world needs, the world wants, that you may want from this dunya. But the man is sick, he cannot enjoy nothing. First, he has to get well. So now what are the Imams and the Shaykhs they're doing? What are they in these days? Especially to identify the sickness in the Ummah. Are they being busy with that? No. Being busy with fitna non-stop. Who are you? Who am I? I'm this and you are this. Busy with that. The whole ummah has to be warned. The whole ummah needs to be reminded that you are not well. You have been sick for a long time. 
Number one, you are sick because you cut off your head. You have no head. Our head is the Khalifa. We cut it off. That's why we're sick. Oh, which Imams or Sheikhs talking about that? Nothing. None. At least they're going to say, Umat, wake up, you are sick. Because the great one who makes confusion, the Dajjal, they already established his. I don't want to say kingdom. He has already established a system <coughs> here. He's been working at it for a long time. It is almost complete. Wake up to the system. They know how to get so excited when they see something, a little bit of mystical thing in movies, uh, Matrix and everything. Everyone gets so excited, writing so many things and saying, oh, this is Sufi, this is Sufi. But when it comes to real life, how you're going to, what kind of system you're living in and how to pull yourselves out from it, they don't want to say, they cannot say because they are part of the system. Because the system is feeding them and paying them. They should be speaking about that. How you get sick? Your surroundings. They should warn the Umat, this is how you get sick because of your own activities. They're not doing that. Everyone is talking about unity. Unity, unity, unity. Unity means nothing. If you're not united under Haq, if you're united under football, what good is that? If you're united under hate, that's terrible. So what are you united under? It has to be a Hilafat. We were united one time. Under one Khalifa. Now you want to get united again? Same solution. You don't have to think so hard. Oh, what is it that I have to do? What is the solution? The solution is already given. 1400 years ago. That for 1300 years we've had that solution. We've been working with that solution. That has continued and brought us so much success. Dunya and Ahirat. Why are you going to reinvent something else? <laughs> so they're not doing that to say that you are sick and you did all these activities to make you more sick. They're not saying what is the solution. They're selling us uh, snake oil. Snake oil. Snake oil. Saying, oh, if only everyone has more education, you're going to be united. If everyone has PhD, I met a sheikh once, he says, oh, if it's up to me, I'm, I will make every Muslim to have a PhD. That is a solution? MashaAllah. Yeah, who is solution? So now, we are stopping. Barakat is falling. Definitely. <laughs> Where there is Nur, Nar cannot enter. We are not making Nur for ourselves. That's why Nar is always here. Because we are not living and breathing and having the lifestyle of a Nur, of light. The lifestyle and the teachings of that one who has light upon light, the Holy Prophet ﷺ. That one who said, now people are going to go crazy now. They're going to say, what do you mean? You're saying that Ayat is saying light upon light, you're saying that is the Prophet? Prophet ﷺ says, before Allah created anything, what did he create? His light. Isn't it? So don't be silly and to show your own um, ignorance. Sit down and think. Hold your horses and understand what we're trying to say here. So now, you come to the point. Maulud coming here, a lot of barakat coming. But we are putting a shield of Nar. We're putting a shield of fire around us so that Barakat is not touching us. Otherwise, that Barakat would touch us and transform everything, isn't it? But we put a shield of fire with our disobedience, 
with our sickness, with our diseases, with our practices. And that shield of fire has a cause, and the cause is ourselves. So the Ummat is sick, and it is dying, it is hurting. Those ones with real voices speaking from Haq, they're going to remind the Ummat. Those ones who are not, or they're mixed up, they're going to be busy with other things. Or they're going to be busy with love. They talk about so much love, it's as if they come from paradise. They talk about so much love, it seems as if everywhere they go, it turns into a paradise. But it's not. They're coming from a nest of vipers, and they're making nest of vipers and scorpions everywhere, just spreading fitna and confusion. Who had love? Who is the first ones that we must look to who had love? Who? Sahaba Kiram. Love of the Holy Prophet. We must look to them, inshallah. May Allah forgive me. This much is enough. A little bit heavy. But understand, this is the reality now. We should not get lost. We should not get lost just because we live in a luxury place like America. Everything is here and we can sit and make maulid. And we think that our faith is somewhere. It is not. We have not been tested. I was just having a conversation with someone and jokingly I said about somewhere in Pakistan, somewhere in Afghanistan, somewhere anywhere, in Middle East or China. And they said, yeah, there's people living in those very harsh conditions in the mountains. They have nothing. They have no food. They have no clothes. But they kept the Iman. And they are having great hopes for the hereafter life. They believe in them. Those ones, they have their love and their love is tested, not us. Inshallah, may Allah not test us, but we should not be spoiled. Wa min Allahu tawfiq al-Fatiha.